is something really special because it kind of is a contrast from the traditional high school setting because it's more like a real world um, place that you can go and do things that you're passionate about and it's really setting us up for the real world in the future and what we want to do in the future. So it's like a home to us. As we move through the 21st century, it is imperative that students make the connection from the classroom to the real world around them. HKTV presents a backdrop that is a natural, visually exciting, and emotional vehicle for helping them make their way. Students at Haddam Killingworth High School are learning about their community, about teamwork, communication, and technology, while experiencing the excitement of the real world. Matt Pavitti is changing lives and making history in America's finest city. Riley Fitzgibbons has more with that story. I want you to try this this time, okay? Show me your forehand grip, okay? If you tweak it a little bit more forward towards... Once Upon a Mattress features many amazing talents, one of them being Allegra Rosa, a freshman at Haddam Killingworth High School. This year in the play, I have Winifred, which is the lead role. She's the princess. She was one of my students that I took almost from the beginning, from the learn to skate level, brought up to what she's now. It's running and racing itself. When I was running, um, it wasn't quite as serious. For 26 years, the Haddam Killingworth students and staff have been producing a holiday show telethon. Probably the greatest thing that we offer every organization, every family, every child that we do this holiday show is the fact that we're able to raise awareness a little bit about what, that, what their cause is. We, we bring it to more people. And you can't put a value on, on what that's the meaning of that. The holiday show is produced by the students and faculty of Haddam Killingworth High School. The telethon to date has raised almost half a million dollars for a variety of charity organizations such as Finley's Fighters, Shoreline Soup Kitchen and Pantries, Camp Rising Sun, and Team Amanda. Students also produce news stories for broadcast on Comcast Channel 18 in Connecticut. From this connection, numerous awards and scholarships have been bestowed on them. This prominence has put HKTV News at the forefront as one of the best high school student TV programs in the country. But there's more to HKTV than just broadcast journalism. A variety of original student-produced programs puts Regional School District 17 in the communication forefront by recognizing student and staff achievement on its highly acclaimed educational access station. The Valley Shore Education Access Station also broadcasts on the World Wide Web. We do shows from talk shows to music shows, uh, working with high schools, uh, high school sports, and um, just about anything else you could think of happens in public access. Quality production work doesn't stop there. Advanced students produce and direct short film dramas, experiencing all of the challenges that professional film directors face every day. We'll have um, an assignment for a short film, and then we'll have 10 different short films because everyone has different ideas and different takes on the specific assignment. And so it's just really interesting to see such a creative atmosphere um, coupled with the technology and the facilities that are offered to us. This award-winning student-produced film employed professional quality filming and editing and told a well-developed, intriguing story. The informant was awarded first place at the 16th Annual Film Fest competition. What do we have here? Brooklyn Thompson. Not You've got to be kidding me. The creativity continues. HKTV also hosts a music video competition for the students to further develop their skills. Students film and edit their own music videos based on a set of criteria. Students receive awards for different areas of their film, such as Best Cinematography, best lip syncing, and best overall. An incredibly well-produced music video, Fields of Gold, recently won best overall and portrayed beautiful cinematography, skilled editing, and exceptional storytelling. When we walked in fields of gold, we walked HKTV also focuses on raising school spirit. 
Each year, HKTV students host a male pageant called Mr. HK as a fundraiser and as a way to promote a unified, convivial school environment. In addition, every morning, HKTV produces a live morning news show, complete with entertainment and key informational segments, keeping the HK school community up to date. The show can also be seen live on the World Wide Web for parents and community members to enjoy. One. STN starts now! STN stands for Student Television Network and it is a national competition that we go to every year. Last year it was in Orlando, Florida and this year it is in San Diego, California. Select HKTV students have gone to the Student Television Network every year for the past four years partially supported by funds from Mr. HK. At STN, students from all over the nation participate in a series of competitions, from the Sweet Sixteens, now called the Crazy Eights, to the shorter competitions, such as silent films, music videos, commentaries, and many more. Here, the students are pushed to their limits and obtain hands-on, real-world experience. In just one trip, Students grow immensely in their ability to work under pressure and in their proficiency in creating exceptional work. HKTV empowers and educates young adults through hands-on involvement using subject matter they care about, presented in a style they can relate to. HKTV is the magic key to engaging young adults in becoming responsible global citizens. Never did I think, you know, I always thought I'd kind of be like a business major and figure something out. I'd never thought I'd be going to you know, school for communications, for journalism. Um, Vidage definitely made me want to be kind of a news anchor. You know, I get thrown in, I get to do the morning news every morning with you know, my friends. You know, it's a big production and it makes me feel like really part of the school and I'm really glad I took these classes. I know myself and many other students on Mr. Lewis and Mr. Kane, a big thank you. I know I wouldn't be in this industry today if it wasn't for them. I learned so much from you know, both of them at HKTV, things I still will use to this day. Without HKTV, I wouldn't be here today. I was a very introverted and low self-esteem teenager, and you guys gave me self-esteem to pick up the phone and make phone calls to set up interviews, and really gave me the foundation to be able to speak in front of a big crowd and do what I do today. So for that, I am eternally grateful. Thank you so much.